as everybody knows, I come from other sports. When I swing a baseball bat, at contact, my chest and the bat are parallel to each other. Yeah. And my goal in a golf swing is to have that same dynamic. So as I'm swinging this club, when I reach shaft parallel, yeah. I want my chest parallel to the shaft. Hey everybody, welcome to not so sunny La Quinta, California. I'm out here with Milo Lines. So uh, we're talking about today, uh, Milo, you have this really interesting concept of there's so many lines that people can talk about in the golf swing. Down the line lines, uh, face on lines. This is a line that's more of like a POV line from like your own point of view. Uh, I'm going to give you this club and talk about how the, the chest and the club stay parallel. We've even so, as everybody knows, I come from other sports. Yeah. When I swing a baseball bat, at contact, my chest and the bat are parallel to each other. Yeah. And my goal in a golf swing is to have that same dynamic. So as I'm swinging this club, when I reach shaft parallel, yeah. I want my chest parallel to the shaft. And then at impact, I want to feel like I'm getting my chest and the shaft parallel to each other. So the, the club is, I feel like it's never passing me. Now, it, that's not physically possible. Yeah, but if that's what I feel like happens, I really can press it good. Okay, uh, I know that when, when people see people on the range or wherever, like longtime golfers see other golfers on the range doing this thing where they're going like this and they're going like this, they'll say, hey, look at that guy. What an idiot. He's trying to hold the leg. You don't hold the leg. Are you holding the leg when you're doing this? No. No. So My, how are you not doing what these people would be making fun of people for doing that. Generally, the thing that they're holding is they're holding this angle here. So wait a second. You, so they're trying to keep this unit they're frozen. Trying to, they're trying to hold radial hinge so it's going this way, like this. Uh -huh. What I'm, I'm not actually holding anything. My pivot holds it. So your wrists are soft. soft. My wrists are really soft. Yes. But yes. what I want to feel like I'm doing is I want to feel like I'm moving in a way that the club moves with me like this. I don't want this club flying by me. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, the one thing I'll add to this, Milo, is how does this relate to hitting pulls? So some oh. golfers hit pulls with a dead shut face. Some hit them with their path, but some hit them just by crossing over. You said that this relates to the way I hit pulls. So you hit pulls because your club actually goes this way into the golf ball. So your chest is pointed more or less at the ball, but the club is going past you in that way. Yeah. So that's a pull. So there's two ways you can make end out path. One way would be to keep your body closed and get the club to come into the ball this way, which in my opinion, I don't like it. It's not very athletic. Yeah. I prefer my pivot to work symmetrically like this and this golf club to follow along. And you can see my path is still into out, even though yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm turning. So I'm turning really early. My, club, my path is still in doubt. Okay, so if people are saying like, okay, those lines, they look good. Like I like, the, they like the idea of the wide arms and this and this are parallel. They're still parallel. They're still parallel. How can they do that? What's like, like what's an, what's an effective strategy to, to get them doing that rather than just like. Kind of like we did with you. Yeah. I've had you start small, get, so come up to the top, come down, get the club parallel to your chest, uh -huh. and then do a little pump and hit it, and never let go of all the angles. So you have to learn how to turn through it. All right, let's do that. Because your tendency was to not turn all the way through. You kind of stalled the pivots with a little, and had a little slide in it. Yeah, slung it out. So you, you're going to want to see people go here. I'm feeling don't that. Pull your arms forward. Too. Don't pull your arms forward. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Now turn this. Feel that? That's different, right? Yeah. That. Yeah. You don't pull your arms forward. So one pump and then hit it, right? One, one pump and then hit a little pitch out there with no throw. There you go. Okay. That ball never, that didn't go left, did it? No, it didn't go left. And it was secure. And it was pretty solid. Let me try one a little bit more distant. So I want to hit one. 
but I actually don't want it to cross over, even yeah. from momentum. So I want you to learn how to hold it off. Like that one. Yeah. There you go. You really get the feeling, like you say, here you're turning into the arm. Turning into the arm, and then you keep turning the arm all the way through. Okay, and then we'll step it up just for time's sake to a little fuller without the uh, without the pump, right? Yeah. So now do the same thing with no pumps. So you said more like in flow, right? Yep. But you're still holding it, so you're not gonna let it don't 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 let it release so much yet. Oh I gotcha. Yeah, like that. So here I'm gonna swing into the arm a little bit. Perfect. That was good. Fading a little too, which I like. So we're taking all the throw out of your swing. Okay, so then building up speed to the final level here, which is I'm basically gonna do the same thing, but my finish is gonna be a little fuller. And then I just won't be able to now fight. Now naturally momentum's gonna unload that club for you, so you're gonna feel like you're doing the same thing though. So I'm doing the same thing, I'm doing the same thing, just a little bit bigger, and then that's I am just not gonna be able to hold. Yep, it won't it won't hold. It'll start flying. So off. when I freeze the video, it'll still be like this, but then it just won't be able to go. Right? That's the idea. There you go. Yeah, that was really good. No more pull hooks. Yeah, that was really good. 